ang valuable intel Isa is us, apparently Okay, I'm going to the Hades Gum. I think this is human territory. Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use these to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around the system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system, you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Okay... <laughs> Hello, Rainbow! That's a strange way to put things. Am I? Where the fuck am I? Let's. Yeah, let's. See how this scanning works. I found something. Okay. So you, you can still go to a freaking to all the motherfuckers. Okay. What's this? Let's see how this works. Rain is a more terrestrial world with an atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. Its surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of silver. The rain environment is relatively mild, but the scarcity of water and similar enabling substances has prevented the development of any biosphere. Exogenic Corp recently performed a test of impact of a single water ice comet into the surface, the first step in a long-term plan to thicken the atmosphere and introduce water environment. Server team is on the surface, monitoring geological and meteorological effects of the test impact. Most of the water released is still in the form of atmospheric vapor, but thick cloud banks have formed. <laughs> there is an early indication that the arid world will soon see its first rain. The survey team's progress has been hampered by frequent mechanical and computer failures in their GPS. Okay. Holy shit! Not again! What the fuck is going on? I don't really understand how this works anymore. Do I launch a pro? Escape? What does that mean? Okay, I think that was it. Okay, this is an interesting an interesting uh, mechanic okay, I think it got the first four worlds
Holy shit, the Reaper! Okay. <laughs> well, the Reaper didn't come. Okay. Yeah, probes, what an amazing thing. 50% assets discovered. Ah, well, that changes much, I have to say. Ah, they tell me, okay. Now things are improving. But do I need a, 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 a mission? We're going to do missions. Not do this. Nice to understand the the mechanics. Where the fuck is Eden Prime? This is human maybe here? This is human space, isn't it? Eden Prime, there we go. Okay, here we should get all the four Well apparently Signal confirmed. Holy shit. <laughs> Don't startle me like that, D. Could there be other things that are not apparently Yeah. That's what I'm worried. Maybe there will be or maybe not. Possibly, yeah, as it's recorded, I'm going to focus on that thing. Alright. Cyan is a hydrogen helium gas giant even larger than Jupiter. Despite the deep gravity, well, and lethal radiation, it supports a small helium-3 mining industry. The reason is simple. As the only gas giant in the Utopia system is the only local source of fuel for EM Prime's power station and spaceport. Cyan has 112 natural satellites ranging from orbiting asteroids to the moon of Aspodel, which is a large enough to retain a thick atmosphere. A thousand peoples. Rothian data files! Great. Why no one saw them before? It's a mystery to everyone in the galaxy. 50% of assets? In the Utopia system. This has no other... Ah, Asgard, alright. Asgard, are you kidding me? Okay, let's read the other... The other planets and we go. An unusual large terrestrial world, Acadia has a dense atmosphere composed of nitrogen and helium. It is a scorching hot surface, mainly composed of alkaline basalts, but metal deposits are plentiful. Also, several spectacular examples of columnar basalt formation offer an exotic beauty. Arcadia hostile environment has precluded commercial development. Nirvana, they really like to put colorful names to these places, has a trace of atmosphere and xenon and krypton. The surface is a mix of water, ice and iron oxides with cryovolcanic fumes, plumes of potassium concentrated around the equatorial ridge. Nirvana has little commercial or scientific interest, in, so a few geological research stations have been constructed in the early 2060s. All has been shut down for years. The Alliance maintained an automated ice cracking station, with a, which has stockpiled a large amount of the ethereum fuel for use by the fleet. This was commandeered in the preparations for the war, and now Nirvana is completely silent. Alright, Sanado's atmosphere is composed of methane and argon, while the planet's frozen surface is largely potassium with deposits of calcium, its location in the deep cold of the outer system and lack of valuable resources leave 
little to recommend it. All right. This idyllic agrarian world was one of the first human colonies established beyond the Charon Mass Relay in Prime's fertile biosphere. Through the heavy immigration from the Systems Alliance and other human organizations, in 2183, Eden Prime was attacked by a Geth Force led by Rogue Spectre Rosarian Arterius. Commander Shepard responding to the attack encountered a Prothean beacon that warned of imminent Reaper invasion. It is thanks to this beacon that the commander and the commander's quick action that the galaxy has a chance of survival today. Although the Reapers rushed past the Exos cluster in their plan to take Earth, it is clear the war has come to end prime. Distress signals have jammed all available frequencies. Fire burns in vast plots across the arable land and its one extensive monorail system is twisted metal. Cerberus has much to lose if the world of the ruthless, ruthless attack on the human colony gets out. What they stand to gain must be equally valuable. 4.2 million. Let's do it! Well, I have no choices, do I? <laughs> and yeah... How does this work? James Vega. Ah, he also gets... Uh, let's give him the Vindicator as well. And the Katana. Bleh. Can be modified apparently. More damage. Objects, but what the fuck allows bullets to pierce 0.25 meter thick objects, but at 16% reduce damage. Okay, I don't think that's good. I think that creates more problems than it solves. What the fuck? Or it, or it does nothing? Okay, I'm going to put it on anyway. I, I, I don't see anything changing here in the... In the... Other places, water. In the stats, I should say. All right, Liara has three points, but she needs five, and this guy, <laughs> he looks awesome, <laughs> he looks like a cyborg, ah, amazing, okay, this guy can buy one, I think, decrease shield recharge delay, increase power damage, okay, Capacitate enemies by knocking them down. Make it faster. Ammo increase capacity. Headshots damage. Okay, let's go with either this one. Increase power damage by 20. Decrease. Increase squad mate's health by 20. Increase health and shield bonuses. What the fuck? And health? I don't understand this. This one gives me a 
Yeah, look at this. Increase health and shield bonuses by 40 and melee damage by 100. And shield bonuses. Is there a difference here? Why? Increases equipment health and shields by 20. And it goes to a tier. And this is 40 and it goes to 100. That's a very odd thing. Okay, I'm going with this one. This guy seems like a tankish sort of character. Therefore it should be... Now, fuck it. Let's continue increasing our damage with these people. I can always revive them if they fall. Uh, why not? Yeah, he has 800, I have a thousand health. Huh, and the arrow is very weak. That's not good. Okay, time for more fighting. This is prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Okay. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports said Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Very true. Okay. Let's go with this one, yeah. Not on my watch. Damn straight, Lola. <laughs> Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. Well, the colonists can fuck themselves. We are here for the artifact. Yeah, they are humans, but they are peasants. Four million peasants. We have billions of humans everywhere. So for a million it's change in those terms. We have trillions of sentient beings. Pfft. We need the artifact. We'll avenge the people of Eden Prime, but our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus is found. Yeah. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. <laughs> well, you will get it, Rambo. <laughs> It's good you were not here an hour ago. I was reading the codex. <laughs> no sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. They rebuilt Mendoir. It wasn't the same. They'll never forget. All we can hope is that they grow stronger for it. Well, they got attacked twice in the last few years. I'm guessing they are not that... All right. Let's make sure all the good things are properly positioned, I should say. I remember that power, that's a health boost. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's be careful. Yep. Got it. On it. Now let's position them on cover. While I enter. That way, at least one of us will flank. Them, which I am assuming something that's going to happen. Of course, as you wish. Right. Yep. Right. Okay, yeah, like that strategy. Seems logical, doesn't it? Processing update. We have taken a more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. When we increased the food rations as payment for the work, most complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't want, we don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. These families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again. There's, <coughs> there's no way they would cooperate, yeah. Well, they are Shepard, becoming... Shepard, Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Well, do it! Cerberus is no longer my ally, but not because I don't want to. Sure thing. Of course. Okay, let's backtrack. Let them hold position. God. It's a Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara, you ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. Okay, but all my Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not going to get hit hard in just a minute. I'll bet. It in the ass. Doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's a Prothean. What? You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans into? No, an original, unmodified Prothean who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. Yeah. Saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. <laughs> well, a lot, I guess. What can you tell me about the Protheans? Ah. The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. <laughs> Yeah, he's a uh, type of Prometheus, but no, 
because we killed the, the... I understand what you're saying, but we killed a lot of collectors, and collectors were basically modified Protheans, so we can't kill them. They're not more intelligent, nor more powerful physically, I guess. Alright. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Yeah, nothing better than... Yeah, that's what they say, but they were able to fight the fucking Reapers off. Now the uh, three is again fucked up. Okay. So they were a martial race. But if, yeah, if you remember their BI in Mass Effect 1, it was quite polite. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. Yeah. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Well, Cerberus is not going to cooperate, are they? What the fuck are those? Holy shit! Okay, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Look at them! I think I need to... Yeah, let me restart the game. I'll be on in a second. Too many walks. 